नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इन हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन करेक्टली फॉलो एरोमेटिसिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट आर एरोमेटिक कॉम्पाउंड दैट वी हैव टू नो इट हैज टू बी साइक्लिक इट हैज टू बी डिलोकोलाइज पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन्स and it should follow huckel's rule which said 4n plus 2 pi electron should be delocalized and electron delocalized that means compound has to be has to undergo reso in entire ring resonance takes place in entire ring for examples very simple example benzene is a aromatic compound because it has 6 pi electrons where n is equal to n is equal to 1 and here n is equal to anything we can say it can be 0 it can be 1 it can be 2 it can be 3 etc etc and when compound is not aromatic provided that delocalization does not takes place if due to some reason delocalization does not take place then compound is compound is non aromatic for examples if we say this compound this compound how many pi electrons we are not considering but we are having one of the carbon is sp3 and sp3 planarity lost non planar that pi electron not delocalized in the entire ring so it's a non aromatic compound so for non aromatic compound somehow somehow compound loses compound loses planarity and if compound having 4n pi electrons delocalized then cyclic compound cyclic compound is called anti aromatic compound n is positive integer for examples if this is the compound it is cyclic there are four pi electrons and it's a delocalized and by definitions it is anti aromatic now we are having so many compounds one compound is given first one is cyclo octatetraene this is called cyclo octa tetra in actually this compound is non planar we are saying it's a top shift molecule and the compound is like this and as it is non planar second requirement satisfied and it's a non aromatic the second point this is the compound it is anti aromatic already we said because it has four pi electrons and delocalized electrons number third this is the compound we said it has a 10 pi electrons and it's a delocalized here in is equal to 2 and aromaticity all conditions satisfied so it is examples of aromatic compound number third number fourth if we go for fourth structures it is given this and if we say this is two pi electrons two pi electrons and lone pair undergoes resonance so it has total pi electron delocalized 6 pi delocalized and definitely 
that resonance takes place in the entire ring because carbocation here sp2 hybridized so all conditions of aromaticity satisfied it is also aromatic compound number 5 number 5 we are having another compound and this is given as follows here again the problem is one of the carbon is sp3 and as we said sp3 carbon becoming non planar and as it is non planar it is again non aromatic number 6 another compound we are having we said it is aromatic because here it has 2 pi electrons 2 pi electrons and that lone pair participates in resonance so we said it is a delocalized electron pi electrons but that electrons does not participate in resonance that is called localized lone pair localized lone pair so if we calculate the pi electrons inside the molecules in the ring it has again six pi electrons which satisfy the conditions for aromatic compound so number six is aromatic number seven this is another compound it is given it's a combinations of five membered and seven membered ring and it's a alternate single bond double bond single bond double bond system conjugated system which is also called its common name is azulene and definitely if we consider entire total pi electrons it has 10 pi electrons it is delocalized it is planar molecules it is aromatic system so total aromatic compound it's a seven it's a six it's number three it's number four so option b is correct which is given third fourth sixth and seven and if we say what about one what about five one and five are non-aromatic non-aromatic what about two two is anti-aromatic so answer b is correct question number 13 it's a multiple choice questions it is given correct order of basic strength option a basicity order is given this and we said it is correct first of all basicity base which are base and how we can say it is a more basic compound if b is base b is proton acceptor and it is forming bh plus and it has to be electron rich and more is the electron density of central atom of central atom more is the basicity this is one way to explain basicity so if we consider lone pair density among three compounds the first point is the localized lone pair localized lone pair means the lone pair which does not participate in resonance it is again localized lone pair but this is undergoing resonance so it is called delocalized lone pair and localized lone pair always more basic than delocalized because localized lone pair having more electron density with respect to delocalized lone pair so these two are more basic than this one now uh, in between these two this nitrogen attached with sp3 carbon this nitrogen attached with sp2 carbon and sp3 carbon and sp2 carbon 
if we go for electronegativity, sp2 carbon having more electronegativity and it has more electron withdrawing tendency which is called minus i effect and minus i effect basis minus i effect reduces reduces basicity because minus i effect is electron withdrawing and more is the electron withdrawing tendency of sp2 carbon lone pair density is reduced basicity reduced so localized lone pair plus sp3 carbon localized lone pair plus sp2 carbon localized lone pair plus sp3 carbon is more basic then localized lone pair plus sp2 carbon and the least basic one is delocalized lone pair a option correct option b option b compounds given cs3 ch2 nh ch2 ch3 ch3 whole thrice n it's a ph nh2 and it's a c double bond nh single bond nh2 single bond nh2 again the point is it's an example of 2 degree amine it is example of 3 degree amine it is example of aromatic amine this is also called aniline this is called guanidine important compound basis it is extremely high but according to the order this guanidine is given as a weakest base which is wrong it's a actually actually it's very it is very strong base to explain it we write down conjugate acid of guanidine and what is conjugate acid of a base this is called conjugate acid conjugate acid means its adduct when any base reacts with H plus so if we add H positive lone pair takes up H plus and develops positive charge on nitrogen and we can say this conjugate acid becomes highly stable the reason is it undergoes resonance and this resonance not only resonance it is actually identical rs and there are three identical rs present that n2 can undergo resonance that n3 can undergo resonance and as there are three identical rs that is extremely stable and if conjugate acids become stable that equilibrium shifted that equilibrium shifted forward directions so tendency to take up proton increases tendency to take up proton increases we can say basicity increases so example of very strong base one of the example is guanidine but it is given in the least basic it's not correct options option number c option number c it is given as this basicity order and we said it is correct order the reason is first of all again if we consider the very basic point first of all we have to find out which is localized and which is delocalized lone pair it's a localized again it's a localized it undergo resonance it undergo resonance so both are examples of 
delocalized loan pair and localized loan pair is more basic than delocalized loan pair moreover this all group shows plus i effect and plus i effect increases basicity because loan pair density on nitrogen increases among these two it is comparatively more basic the reason is here one co group is present here one co group and one so another so groups are there so that delocalizations of lone pair on nitrogen will be more and more is the delocalization of nitrogen lone pair due to more resonance and more is the delocalization of the lone pair on nitrogen due to more resonance basicity for the reduced this is called amide and this is from that side it's amide from that side it's a sulfonamides and this compound is called saccharin so if we consider the basicity order of all four compound saccharin is the least basic followed by amide more basic ammonia more basic because of its localized lone pair 3 degree amine is more basic because of its again localized lone pair c correct option d option d this time guanidine given in the first positions followed by 1 degree amine says this is h2 nh2 followed by imine c double bond nh system is called imine followed by cyanide and now we can say this is correct order already we discussed guanidine is strong base very very strong base and in between this two three if we compare the basicity we said it's a s character of the adjacent atom it's a sp3 it's a sp2 it's a sp and s character if increases from second to third to fourth minus i effect increases of that carbon and minus i effect reduces basicity basicity reduced so this order is correct so in multiple choice questions the answer is the final answer is of 13 a c and d